Hello friends, myself R.D. Mahajan presenting my video on function of complex variable integral calculus. Uh, first of all, I will discuss what is by contour integral. Uh, if the path of integration is a closed curve taken in anticlockwise direction, then that integral is called as contour integral. And it is denoted by integration of f of z dz over closed curve C. This symbol means it is a closed curve. And then uh, one theorem on this contour integral that is Cauchy's integral formula. If f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C and A is any point inside C. If A is any point inside this curve C, this curve C is a simple closed curve. Then integration of f of z divided by z minus a with respect to z over that closed curve C is equals to values are 2. One is 2 pi i multiplied by f of z at z is equals to a if that point lies inside or on that curve or its value is 0 if that point z is equals to a lies outside the curve C where that z is equals to a is called as a singularity or the pole. Already I had defined this term in my previous video or refer that video. Then I will discuss some simple problem based on this uh, contour integral, how we can evaluate that contour integral. Uh, let us evaluate integration of e raised to 2z divided by z minus 1 over that closed curve c with respect to z where that curve c is mod z is equals to 2. This mod z is equals to 2 is a circle, uh, standard circle whose center is at origin and radius as 2. And therefore given f of z is equals to e raised to 2z is an analytic function. Then we have to check the pole. Uh, equating this term to 0, denominated terms to 0, we get z minus 1 equals to 0. That is z is equals to 1. That z is equals to 1 is a pole or the singularity of order 1. Then we check whether that point lies inside or on or outside the curve. Mod z is equals to 2. Therefore, mod z at z is equals to 1, we get mod of 1. The mod of 1 or the absolute value of 1 is 1. And that 1 is less than 2 means the point lies inside C. And as point lies inside C, by Koch's integral formula, contour integral of e raised to 2z divided by z minus 1 with respect to z over c is equals to as per that formula value is 2 pi i into f of z at z is equals to a and if we substitute the value of f of z we get 2 pi i f of z is here e raised to 2z at z is equals to a and a is here 1 and therefore substituted value z is equals to 1 here we get that value as 2 pi i multiplied by e raised to 2 z, z is 1 therefore we get e square this is the value or the answer of that control integral the value of the control integral is 2 pi i into second example evaluate control integral of e raised to 3z divided by z minus pi i its integration with respect to z over that closed curve c as mod of z minus 2 plus mod of z plus 2 is equals to 4 and therefore to evaluate its value we check the given function here given function f of z is equals to e raised to 3z which is an analytic function and then to determine the pole we equate the denominator term to 0 z minus pi i, pi i is equals to 0 
it gives you z is equals to pi i as a pole of order one. Why order one? Because the power of that term is one. If the power of that term is two, then we call as it is pole of order two and like this. And then we have to determine whether the point lies inside or on or outside using this curve. That curve is mod of z minus two plus mod of z plus two is equals to four. And therefore, we substitute z is equals to pi i here. It become mod of pi i minus two plus mod of pi i plus two. This is a complex number in the form of x plus i y. x plus i y x plus i y the mod of that complex number all we know that it is obtained by root of x square plus y square here x is minus 2 square plus y square y is pi pi square and again mod of the second term is root of x square 2 square and y square pi square therefore that term is 4 plus pi we consider value of pi as 3.14 whole square and the same term we have therefore we can make it twice if we sub if we calculate the value by calci or calculator 7.45 root of this multiplied by 2 that value is 7.45 and then we compare with this 4 that 7.45 is definitely greater than 4 means point z is equals to pi i lies outside the curve lies outside c and then by cauchy's integral formula then by cauchy's integral formula value of that control integral e raised to 3z divided by z minus pi i over that cos c with respect to z as that point lies outside that cos c as per that theorem When at that point lies outside cos c, its value is zero. Therefore, the value of that control integral is zero by Cauchy's integral formula. Let us evaluate third example. Uh, in control integral of e raised to two z divided by z minus i and its integration with respect to z, where that uh, close cos c is. Mod z is equals to two. One second standard circle center at origin radius two. Uh, here to find the value, we consider f of z as e raised to two z given function, uh, which is an analytic. It is an analytic function. Then to determine the pole, we equate the denominator term to zero. We get z minus i is equals to zero. Means z is equals to i. Uh, it is a pole of order one, simple pole. And then we check whether that point lies inside or on or outside the curve uh, using this given equation of the curve. A uh, mod z at z is equals to i mod of i i nothing but zero plus i so complex number x plus i y and mod of x plus i y all we know that it is root of x square plus y square. Here x is zero zero square is zero. Y is coefficient of i that is one. One square is one, root of one is one, and that one is less than two, and as one is less than two, radius two, that point lies inside that cos c, and as point lies inside cos c, by Cauchy's integral formula, control integral of e raised to two z divided by z minus i. With respect to z, 
over that curve C is equals to 2 pi i into f of z. The value of f of z is here, e raised to 2z. And z is equals to a, a is here i, that point a is i. And therefore, substituting the value of z as i here, we get that value as 2 pi i multiplied by e raised to 2 times i. The, uh, we can rewrite this as, all we know that e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. And therefore, applying that formula, we can rewrite this as 2 pi i e raised to i theta, theta is here 2, is cos theta means cos of 2 plus i times sin of theta, sin of 2 is the value of that control integral. Therefore, in this first video, I have discussed three simple examples how we can use that Cauchy's integral formula to evaluate that control integral. Uh, some more I will discuss in my next video. Therefore, if you like my video, please share it as well as subscribe to my channel to receive the notification of my new videos. For that, you have to press the bell icon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.